Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, we have a random haul. Some of these things are in preparation for specific videos. There's an American Girl doll collection video coming soon. And um, I've also been working on just like cleaning my doll room and stuff. So more videos to come. Um, but let's just sit down and hold myself accountable for all the things that I've purchased online recently. Let's welcome them into the collection. So I've already opened some of these boxes just to confirm what was inside because I needed to rate the sellers. Um, but anyway, let's just get started with this. Oh, <laughs> um, okay, we can start here. So um, a lot of the stuff in this video is going to be American Girl related. <laughs> I'll talk about it. Um, this in particular, I actually wasn't searching for it, came up on my little recommended, and every single time I search for anything doll related, this specific item gets recommended to me by like Google, like the little shopping tab at the top, and it's the American Girl Peridot Birthstone Collection. Now, Mercari is dangerous because when you open the app, it gives you like an algorithm of recommendations that it has for you based on your previous browsing habits. And if you don't know, American Girl dolls are really inexpensive right now. Like you can get a full good condition doll in her meat outfit for like 60 bucks for the majority of the characters. It's really nice. And that includes older characters. It's awesome. The clothes, not so much. The clothes are extremely expensive right now. So it's kind of like, okay, I can get all the dolls, but it, can I dress them? Not really. Um, so I decided, no, I'm going to dress them before I go through and get any more dolls. I don't know if that's going to come come true or not, but I want them all to have their meat outfits. Now, what am, or not their meat outfits, but something from their own collection. Now, what am I doing here? Um, This came up on my little algorithm thing because I've been searching American Girl and I love it. And I saw it and it was like $35 or something. And I was like, that's expensive. And I went to look, I was like, did it retire or something? Why is it so expensive? And it turns out this thing retailed for over $40 on the American Girl website. It's still for sale. Like it still exists. What? So these outfits are awesome, by the way. This is a birthstone collection, so there's different outfits for every single month. I would love to have all of them, honestly. They're all really, really cute, but this one really speaks to me. I've just been staring at it for, I don't know, however long it's been out. It's been teasing me on Google, like, searches. But anyway, I added it to my little watch list and just waited, and I got an offer for it for, like, 30 bucks, and I realized that is way under what it sells for, and I doubt I'm gonna get lucky enough to find this exact outfit, so... I went for it. I had some Mercari credit. By the way, if you guys are interested in Mercari, I have a referral link. I'm not an affiliate or anything. Anybody can get a referral link, but there's lots of good deals on there. If you're interested, I have a link in the description and it helps support videos like these. I paid like $20 for this as opposed to $30 because I had a referral credit. So thank you, whoever that was. Um, but look, okay. So this was, I guess, used because it doesn't have like, I don't know. I, there's supposed to be tissue paper, right? But it looks so new. Look at this outfit. So it's so cute. And we're going to do an American Girl video preparing my dolls. Or maybe it will be in the um, doll room update right before the American Girl collection. I'm not sure. Um, somebody's definitely going to be wearing this. I don't know who yet. And it comes with these cutie pie little shoes. Are you kidding me? And I think it was a choker, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Little choker thing. And oh, there's sunglasses. Oh, I want these to just be glasses, glasses. I could pop the lenses out and then... I mean, we'll see. We'll see how they look. And then we have the little sticker earrings. So there's also a little thing. Oh, cute. Telling you about all of the birthstones. It's interesting that November... I swear there's another birthstone for November, right? Um, but they kind of were just like, nope, it's citrine now. Which is interesting because citrine and amethyst are both quartz. It's just quartz. Um, so, But sapphire and rubies are both the same thing too, corundum. So... They're not the same, but... And Aquamine and Emerald, whatever. Um, oh, that's so cute. I love this collection. I'm going to keep kind of keeping my eye out for it secondhand because, I don't know, even paying this much for an American Girl outfit is not something I ever do, but it was just this particular outfit is one of those, like, special ones that I felt like I really, really do want this, and when it goes out of stock forever and I didn't get it and never find it for a good price, it's gonna really genuinely bother me, and I've been staring at it longingly for what I think has been at least a year, so when I, when a good deal came up, I was like, you know what? Okay, you win, Mercari. I got it, and, um, this next one is very interesting, also Mercari. So I have uh, peeked inside of here just to make sure because with Mercari, you have to rate the seller within three days. This is another Taylor Swift doll. 
this is interesting because every single day, multiple times a day sometimes, I search by new Taylor Swift doll on eBay and on Mercari just to see what's going on. And this doll came up when I was looking at a different doll of this exact same doll, like this Taylor Swift doll. Um, I was looking at this exact doll, but for like $100, um, and she had like a weird defect, like her, the bow on her dress wasn't sewn on correctly and it was a factory thing. <laughs> and I was like debating on buying that one, even though the bow was weird. I was like, I could probably sew that back on and fix it, like whatever. And then guess what was in the recommended items? All I saw was this and I was like, okay. And I clicked on it and I found this doll for $60. These dolls regularly sell for quite a bit more than $60. For example, the one I was actually debating on buying was, I think she was down from, like, she was listed for $120 and she's been going down for weeks, so she was around, like, 90 something I don't know, but that bow thing was just a deal breaker for me. But look! Also, if you're looking at Taylor Swift dolls, some of them have really weird faces. Like, they're misprinted and just look really gross. Sorry, I'm trying to get her shoes on, but it's fine. She came with her shoes. Um, but this one had just such a perfect face. It was like Destiny. And she didn't show up in the search. I searched by new every single day. Her title was Taylor Swift Love Story Doll. She just wasn't coming up in the searches, but she came up in the recommended items. She doesn't work, like she doesn't sing, so I think that's why she hadn't sold yet, but she didn't even have a lot of likes, so I don't really know what happened here. Uh, maybe just a Mercari glitch, so I apologize to that seller. <laughs> that That's unfortunate, but it's so fortunate for me. I won. I've been wanting this doll since I was an actual child. Like, I did not like dolls as a kid, um, but like when I was around 11... And I discovered these dolls. I was like, oh man. And they came out in like 2009. So that was shortly after they released. I was like, oh man, I want these. Um, but as a kid, anything above retail or even anything at retail was like not even going for it. I wouldn't even bother. So the Taylor Swift dolls just were not realistic for me. So I kind of gave up. So I'm just so happy. So allegedly the seller had put batteries in and she still didn't work. But I don't care. I don't need her to sing. Like, sorry, I can just play it off the CDs. Um, I do think singing dolls that can actually sing are cute, but ultimately, I never keep the batteries in, usually, um, because it can cause problems. I don't really care that much. And the, sell the seller actually restyled her. Like, her hairstyle looks so good, and... I have the ones I wanted the most as a kid. It was the Teardrops on My Guitar one and this one. And if you are interested in these Taylor Swift dolls at all, I made a whole video about them. They were really, really, really disgusting in that video, but I, I bought a lot of them and now I have more and she just looks amazing. I would not have been able to do this hairstyle. It looks so good and I'm just so happy. Yay! The love story doll. I was serious about this song as a child. It played nonstop on the radio and they played the radio when I was in gymnastics class, which was 20 hours a week. So I love that. Like I, well, that can either make you love or hate a song. I loved it. This is our next box. It is so lovingly packaged. And this is going to be so good for my American Girl collection. There is my Grail American Girl outfit in here, kind of. Um, yeah, I've been looking for this outfit for over a year. And I'm not kidding. Like, it's been a thing. You'll see um, when we get to it. So it says, thank you, enjoy. And I bought this from a Mercari seller. And I'll actually link the seller in the description. And if you're not a Mercari member already, use my code since I'm giving you the, the plug here, please. Um, anyway, <laughs> they had so many American Girl doll outfits and they were all pretty reasonable prices, like lower than they normally sell for. And the, the thing about it is when you bundle things together, one, sellers like to give you discounts if you do that, two, the shipping. So even if I found these outfits cheaper from somebody else each, the shipping would have made them more expensive to buy individually. So I've been looking for a seller that had a lot of things in the same place. And I'm looking for things like historical outfits and the specific Truly Me outfit that I really wanted. So it's hard to find a seller that has that. And this one did. All right. This outfit was my most wanted Felicity outfit. I mean, I want her like writing outfit, the green one too. Oh my God. The little packing peanuts to keep the shoe shape. Are you kidding me? That is so nice. I wanted this outfit so bad, but I think it didn't come with all of its accessories. I think they came in two separate parts. You never find all the accessories. If that's not the case, I don't know what the situation is. I believe this one's missing like hair ribbons or something, but I wanted this so bad. So I forgot what this is even called. Is it just Felicity's fancy dress or her Christmas dress or something? I don't know, but I wanted this one because it's just Elizabeth's outfit or Elizabeth's outfit is just this but in pink, so they're gonna match. And if you guys don't know, because I've never really showed her except once when I got her, I have a perfect, beautiful early Felicity doll. I don't know how early she is, but she looks decently old. She's so cute. 
and she's in like perfect condition like her hair is stunning but I just don't have any outfits for Felicity and it's been a problem so um I really wanted to finally get her oh that's the little there's like changeable thingies like um I really wanted to get Felicity a nice little outfit for her display um my current issue right now is that I have like no tights I mean I have tights but not enough for everybody that's on display which is frustrating um but I really wanted this outfit so I'm so excited and I'm probably going to do um addressing my dolls video because I've never done that before and people like that so let me know I guess um and then there's this oh well that is so nice what is it um I think it's a necklace maybe oh wow look how cute I never get the little accessories like this. And these weren't like cheap, cheap, but they were reasonably priced. And they're exactly as they were described. The seller seems absolutely wonderful. I did take a peek to make sure everything that I ordered was in here already, but I haven't like fully unboxed yet. Um, so I can tell you that the seller was really like cool. I was really happy. Okay. These are some like custom made American Girl clothes. And I got these for like, I think $14 for both of them, which is crazy. And they're just so so cute so I got this yellow one I have like no yellow American Girl outfits really so I thought that this would be a good addition to the collection and just look how nice this is like the ruffles up here and the lacy sleeves and the really like soft satin ribbon and I don't know it was just that is such a cute little dress if I saw this out in the world I would just be like oh I think that that is legitimate like American Girl before I checked and saw that there were no tags. Like, this is ridiculously nice. And then um, it also comes with a matching ribbon, probably for the hair. So cute. And I, since I was already ordering this other stuff, these just spoke to me and I was like, okay. Um, unfortunately, the seller did not have the thing that I was actually looking for on this day, which was tights. I wanted tights. I mean, they did actually have them to be fair, but not like separate. I just want a lot of like six black and white American Girl tights. <laughs> it's hard to find apparently. I don't feel like it should be. I don't know. Um, and then we have this orange dress, which is so pretty. And again, like, orange is an unusual color to have. Look at the, like, these are masterful. I couldn't believe how cheap these were. But I think the seller just buys, like, a lot of American Girl lots and just ended up with these. Um, and they were probably just from some craft fair or maybe an Etsy seller. I don't know. Uh, but I'm in love with them. And I'm really excited for my dolls to wear them. So, especially for the new collection video. I feel like every American Girl collection video I do, because I collected the dolls more than I do the clothes most of the dolls do not change outfits like they just don't unless I just so happen to get a new outfit that's awesome like by luck so this is the first time I've been like you know what I'm gonna sit down and I'm actually going to shop for American Girl outfits this time I got the itch to buy American Girls and I was like eh -eh. unless you find redacted I'm not saying her name yet until I get her um unless you find redacted for like under a certain price with one of her good outfits I'm being very picky with that one because I really want the outfits I don't I like her meat outfit if I find her for cheap enough, I'll take just the meat outfit, but I really want one of her actual outfits. Anyway, moving on. Um, okay. This thing I could have probably got, well, I could have absolutely gotten for cheaper. I've been looking for this thing for over a year. This was my grail outfit. It was not the Felicity outfit. I did want that one, but this outfit, I saw it in like an American Girl doll YouTuber. I wish I remembered which, uh, what their username was. But they don't show up on my, like, recommended anymore, unfortunately. Maybe they just don't upload. But they do, like, little catalog flip-throughs. And they were a relatively newer YouTuber, like, over a year ago when I first saw this video. And I was obsessed. I was like, oh, that's the most beautiful outfit I've ever seen in my life. So ever since then... Yeah, oh, and there's another outfit in here, too. Um, I have been hunting it down. And it's in here. It comes with little purple jellies. Ignore this. And it is the, it has multiple names. It's just called the American Girl, like, birthday dress or party dress or something. I don't remember. Um, oh, does it say? Birthday outfit. It's called the birthday outfit. Um, oh, my God. And it's this funny fruit dress and this little fruit shirt. And it's so cute. And when I saw it in that catalog picture, my heart melted. And I was like, I have to have that dress. And I've been looking forever and I just never find it with everything. This actually doesn't have everything. Well, it kind of does. It almost does. There is a scrunchie. I want it so bad. And it's the reason I haven't ordered it all this time. Because every time I find it, it does not have that dang scrunchie. But I just said, you know what? This is so cute. It's a good deal. It comes with all this other stuff. 
or it's from the same seller as all this other stuff. Let's just do it. Let's just get it. So I did. And then this is a kit outfit. I don't remember which one. Um, and it's so cute. Look at it. So I um, wonder what era this is. It's American Girl. Well, of course it is. It's kit. But I don't recognize that tag to say like exactly what year it is. But it's so cute. And um, I wanted this because I like the Be Forever kit dress. But next to Ruthie, who is wearing the school skirt or whatever. Is it the reporter? I don't remember. Whatever Be Forever outfit she's wearing. The one with the cute little bell hat. I was like, or is it called a cloche? Cloche? I've never said it out loud. I was like, Kit needs something. And I actually was not planning to buy something for Kit. Um, but because I saw this for a really good deal, actually, it has a stain. I'm going to try to get it out. But if I can't, it's really not going to bug me, honestly. I don't care. Um, it comes with the little sockies and the little shoesies. Oh, yeah, I was missing a shoelace. I said, mm, that's not going to bother me. It probably will, but it's fine. Um, she'll just not have a shoe shoelace. She was she was like an adventurous girl. It's fine. Um, and it even came with all of this. This is why I ultimately was like, okay. Um, this like cute pencil box or binder or whatever it is. Yeah, it's a pencil box. And the little crayons and the little ruler. And it says just pals and it's got all these dogs on it. And then it has the multiplication table. And I don't know, it was just really cute accessories for Kit. And I have Molly's bag. So now two of them have their little bags. Little school set, so cute. Are they supposed to be through there? That's weird, right? Maybe that's a thing. Oh, I think they are supposed to be there. How odd. So you can wear it as a backpack? I don't know. I wasn't alive back then. I have no idea. Okay. You might be wondering what this is. Instead of the scrunchie, I ended up with this and I'm not mad at it. Um, I would have preferred the scrunchie to this, but I was like, huh, I've never actually seen this outfit sold with this. <laughs> this is a croquet set. Not actually sure how croquet is played. I know about it because of Alice in Wonderland. Is it British? Like, what is it? I don't, um, you have a little mallet and you hit the balls. Seems like a rich people activity. I don't know. Um, okay. Well, one of the mallet tops just fell off. So I think this is the mallets like on a thingy. Hold on. I'm going to get it all out of here. All right, y'all. I've got them. So these are the goals, I think. So you line them up. It's kind of golfish, I think. And then you try to hit them through all of the little arches that you have these little flowers. This is really nice, by the way. It's like wood. Not everything's wood anymore. It's heavy. Like this metal. I don't know what exactly goes there. Like I thought maybe, oh, that would be a nice place for this ball, but you can't really. Oh, you can. Okay. That's probably how it goes. Maybe not. I have no idea. Um, it comes with these things. I don't actually know what these are for, but they are magnetic, but that's probably just so they stick there. And then these are the mallets, which I guess there's two different types because this one has two heads on it and this has one or like sides. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you like, you get your little dolls. Oh yeah, I do think it's for the ball because you put it up here and it's wider and then it gets smaller so you can't get it out from the bottom. Anyway, you go like, and sometimes you do it with a flamingo. How do they even come up with that? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't necessarily think like, oh, I really wanted the croquet set too. Like I've never actively looked for it or anything, but it came with the dress and was such a good deal where it was like, okay, I was almost willing to pay this for just the dress not that long ago if it came with the scrunchie. So it's funny that I gave up on the scrunchie because, oh, it has instructions on how to play croquet. What are posts? Like, what does that mean? Oh, it, it's supposed to come with two balls, but mine only comes with one, but it's fine. It seems like it comes with everything else. Cool. And you can see there's all sorts of stuff. This is early American Girl of Today. I think it's from like one of the first years, 1998. Like that's pretty early. And it, it comes with everything except scrunchie. The scrunchie almost never comes with it. I don't know. Maybe it broke easily or something. But like, this is the cutest outfit in the whole world. You'll see. We're doing a dressing my American Girl dolls video. Groundbreaking. I've never done that before. But like, for the birthday outfit, anything. Um, some people call it the lawn party outfit. I'm really not sure. Um, this says birthday outfit, but this is all like lawn party themed stuff. So I need that rabbit. Baxter the bunny. Hello. Um, I really like the pets that are just in general American Girl. Like they belong to the American Girl dolls. I think it's cute. Okay, next. It's another Mercari purchase. Mercari is very smart with their, like their, um... I don't know how to describe it without using a mean word, but like the manipulation tactics, the the um the way they kind of like prey on your FOMO. 
uh, they'll send you notifications being like, hurry, somebody's gonna buy this. That doesn't usually work on me, but, um, they, they do the, um, the sellers are allowed to push out, like, hey, I'm offering 20% off. And then when they do that, I'm like, oh, so you want to sell it? So I wait a while, and then if it hasn't sold yet, I'll put in an offer for even lower, and normally they accept it. And that's what happened here. This is interesting, because I almost put in an offer on this, uh, these items anyway, like a week before this, and I decided against it because I was like, ah, because the Mercari fees went up. So as a buyer, I'm like, Ugh. like when when you get to the cart stage, uh, after when you're making an offer, it lets you know how much you'd actually pay if they accept, and it's always like ten to fifteen dollars over what you thought. If it's a, depending on the price, sometimes it can be like five dollars over what you like actually were putting in an offer for because of the shipping and Mercari fees are now on the buyer, not on the seller. So often I get to that page and I'm like no <laughs> um which i wonder if mercari can see how often people do that because i bet it's a lot anyway i was searching for these dolls because they're like collector's edition mattel dolls and i don't really want to buy from mattel right now and pro tip any new releases after like a month or even right away just look you'll be surprised. I got these dolls for, I think it was like $35 each. Like it was something ridiculous. And they retailed for a lot more than that. I think it was 75, but they went on clearance at one point. I don't know, but I actually got Aurora the same way. Um, just looking at Mercari, just stalking. Um, so she's already on display, but I got the other two from the Radiance collection. And these are actually designed by a designer that I really, really love. So I really wanted them. <laughs> um, but I was like, I'm not buying from Mattel right now. It's fine. So I am really happy to have the full collection here because they're really stunning. Um, and yeah, nobody else seems to want them. They're still in stock, I think, but don't buy them from Mattel. Look on eBay and Mercari and just wait because um, I suspect some people bought them thinking they were going to resell them. This person clearly didn't. They unboxed them. They just decided to sell them. And the thing that was funny was I was really tempted to put in an offer, but I figured like, no, they have the Aurora one, which is the best one. And I don't want to be a jerk and offer on just these two and they're stuck with one from the set, but I don't want another Aurora, right? Because I had just gotten the other, like an Aurora from like a random other seller, like two months ago, maybe. So I was like, uh, no, <laughs> it's fine. I'll wait. Um, I'll, I'll see. And then when this offer came in, when I saw that the seller pushed out the offers for these ones, someone bought the Aurora based on that offer that the seller put out. So I was like, oh, it's fate. They're mine. So now I don't feel bad. Yay. So I have Belle and Jasmine from the Radiance Collection. And, um, I've actually been doing that quite a bit. Um, like I got the, uh, Piss Fits, the, the wear cats. They were just freshly out of box. I have a theory that some of the doll reviewers or like not necessarily doll reviewers, like in the adult doll collecting community, but like a lot of the like kid toy reviewers just immediately sell the items for way under what they paid. Cause I've been noticing with like every new release ever, they immediately come up on eBay from multiple sources for pretty low under and those ones were only sold online and they're not even shipped out to everyone who bought them yet so I couldn't believe that um and even with like special limited edition dolls too well this person uh, this person was not the case but I've seen other listings of these dolls that seem to be just like someone who got set them as PR or something selling them but yeah I'm very happy and the seller was so sweet I messaged them like oh my god I wanted these but you had the Aurora for sale and I would feel bad taking them and I <laughs> and then that one sold what a fun coincidence for me um yeah super super cute dolls i am honestly not mad at how mattel is handling disney princess this next package here is such a it's a cute package i don't know i like the size of it um but this is from a seller on instagram spike the mighty dragon or spike the mighty sales i know they're they have a like a regular account and a sales account and i always get which which one's which wrong um but anyway Oops, I did it again. They listed some she stuff, and I was like, don't mind if I do. I just got some she dolls. Like, it's going to be cute. They can live together in peace and harmony. Okay. I love this princess sticker. So cute. Oh, my God. We have stickers on all of them. So um, let's just start here. And huge thank you to that seller. Um, they just list things publicly again. I just am a customer. Um, I asked them if I can shout them out in videos, and they said, sure. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. I love the little stickers! They're so cute! Okay. 
we have also like amazing packaging we love it the the prices are under what they go for on like ebay and stuff which is always a treat and they're always restored very lovingly i bought prince bow i don't have prince bow from dreamwork shira so if you have him and you don't want him please let me know <laughs> um but not for the ebay price please thank you <laughs> anyway look at him I don't know. I felt like I probably needed a Prince bow to go with my shoe res. Um, I have, uh, get this, his bow, his quiver full of arrows, and his little, like, top. I don't know. Really good price for these. I remember, like, one of them was, like, 25 I think bow was pretty cheap. I don't remember. Um, oh, the cat! Oh, my God. Okay, that's going straight onto my cup, and I'm not even getting. The sticker is too cute to not save so i'm gonna go on my cup she does have a little bit of that tissue paper left but i put scotch tape to kind of protect them sometimes perfect perfect okay anyway back to your regularly scheduled programming i assume this is the other she doll because the other doll is much bigger so so well packaged but when things are well packaged as youtuber it's like ah when i'm trying to do a live unboxing we got Frosta. I think I paid 30 for Frosta, maybe, with everything, with her hair restored. I'm happy. It's not everything. She doesn't have her comb, but, like, oh, no, I don't have the comb. Whatever am I going to do? My Ziploc bag will have one less comb in it. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I have wanted Frosta for so long, and um, I've just never had her, and... Yay! My dad had the Masters of the Universe Classics one. Um, I wanted those Masters of the Universe Classics, Shira's, so bad. Um, but this is better. Honestly. Oh, the hair's so soft. Oh, she's so cute. Yay! So, um, this is my new Frosta. She is adorable, and I just love winter-themed stuff. Like, game over. It always works on me. Okay, this last one. Um, this is another one of the... Sorry, this sticker. I want to save it. Um, I'll figure that out later. This is another one of the Enchanted Island ones. The last one that I got was an Enchanted Island one, too. This was listed at the exact same time, and I just, for some reason, that day was like, mm, no. But this doll was so affordable. I think she was like $15 or something. And this is another Lady Lovely Locks doll. So this is now my third one, and I actually just restored my Duchess Raven Wave. Sorry, I, I don't know as much about Lady Lovely Locks as I would like to, um, but I just restored my Duchess Raven Wave dolls, and I was absolutely doll <laughs> that I found thrifting, and I was speechless at how good the hair turned out. Like, the softest, most perfect doll hair. Um, so this is, I believe, just the character Lady, Lady Lovely Locks. Um, this is her Enchanted Island one. And she has some discoloration, which is why she was so affordable. Like, you can see it on her legs, but I don't mind. And, oh my god, she's so cute. These dolls, specifically the art, is so cute. And I really like the dolls, too. Aren't they precious? And, yeah, just beefing up my vintage collection still. And isn't she cute? So now I have three of them, and they'll all live together and be happy. And three is a good display. Like, I feel like one is, like, and two is like, okay, we're getting somewhere. And three is like, perfect. Now your display will like make sense. Obviously for me as a collector, I like to have as many as I possibly can. <laughs> um, but you know, now I think I can give them some real estate on display and figure out where they're going to go. Of course, Duchess Raven Waves is going to look weird next to two of the like tropical ones. She's like, can I come to the party? Like, can I come to the beautiful island? I think it's called Enchanted Island. Um, no, you can't. Sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you everything that I got up close, and then we're going to wrap this up. All right, so most of this haul was American Girl outfits, but here are the dolls. So this is Miss Taylor Swift up close. I am so excited about this one again. I've been, I've just wanted this doll for so long, and she was one of those ones that generally she sells for more than the others. I think she was part, I need to double check this, but there's certain ones that are part of the second wave that are 
I think they just made less of them because the first wave didn't do so hot. So um, they're a bit harder to find and I believe this is one of them. I might be wrong, um, but I just love her. I really, I think her makeup looks a lot better than the others. And I just can't believe I got one that was like restyled so perfectly and for under, well under, way under what the other ones go for. Oh, I'm so, so happy. So pretty. And then her dress is so like generic doll dress, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Jack Pacific did make generic dolls a little bit before this, so they know what they're doing. Um, but to be fair, this isn't that far off from the actual one. But I don't know. This one is not super, like, magical with the dress. So I wasn't willing to pay, like, too, too much. But still, like, sometimes the doll altogether is just special. Like, this dress I would never buy separately, ever. But I just... It's her dress, you know? And it's actually really nice now that I have it. Like, this... The bodice is just kind of generic, but it's still, like... It's good quality. It's not bad. Um... Like, I specifically like this panel piece. It's very nice. And then this fabric is super, super nice. Ooh, there's Taylor Swift tags on the dresses. It's really cute. Look. Ta-da! Taylor Swift Productions, Inc. 2010. Um, yeah, so I think this would be second wave, because um, I think the first wave won, say, 2009. But I might be wrong. Um, so cute. So, so excited to have her. And, yeah. Again, she does have her shoes. Oh, if you don't know, they have little hearts on their feet. Um, she does have her shoes there over here. I just... Uh, why is the focus being so strange today? There you go. I will put them on when she goes on display. Uh, my Taylor Swift doll display is, like, overloaded now. I'm gonna have to, like, give them another shelf. <laughs> I have done a great job adding to my Taylor Swift doll collection. I'm very happy. Um, okay, here's our Radiance collection, girls, and I'm very impressed with them. Uh, I don't know about the $75 price point, but I don't know about, like, any collector doll price point. I mean, for the most part. Some of them are, I'm genuinely like, yeah, that was worth that. Um, I think they were 75, they might have been 60, um, but they are absolutely stunning dolls, and the designs are glorious, and I think the execution is really, really nice, too, and I just, I love, 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 love the designer of these dolls, so I did really want them, so I'm very, very happy that I found them for a good price. I'm showing you these dolls, I haven't been showing, like, new release dolls from certain companies, even if I do buy them, um, which I'm buying them secondhand or, like, on clearance prices and stuff. Um, because I just don't personally want to, like, associate myself with those companies or promote them. So, please, if you see these dolls in my video, if you're looking for them, look for them secondhand. I'm serious. You can find them for a really, really good deal and save your money. Why not? Um, I haven't been showing them even if I do get them secondhand because it's like, okay, that doll's in store. Somebody can just go grab it. So, please, I wanted to show these because I absolutely love this designer and I really want to, like, highlight because I felt bad that I couldn't, like share I guess at the time because again I really love this designer's work um and I was so happy to see that he did these and he did such a good job on them um so I thought I would show them but I just want to like point this out that you can find pretty new release dolls for really really good prices I haven't been doing it as much as I used to I used to do it all the time um like with Monster High I bought a ton of them on eBay for like half price or way under when they first came out but because I'm a reviewer I was buying them brand new for so long so I wasn't sure if that was still the case but as I've been looking now oh yeah basically any new release doll just keep your search alerts on and you'll find them so <laughs> let that be a lesson to you <laughs> um but you know buying brand new is fun too um but yeah these dolls are beautiful the the fabric choices for the most part are really good I like the foiling and the different things there's no embroidery or anything I love this fabric because that brocade or brocade fabric I don't know and the gems are fun I think the gems are a really fun detail I it's cute that it like brings them together and I think that's probably why they go by like the radiance collection Aurora stands out the most by far I think she's probably the most popular one in this collection I think her um just design turned out really cool and it's just a fun twist on Aurora and um I really like Jasmine in purple though this is my first Jasmine like um well I yeah this is my first Jasmine in purple purple I have one in like indigo I have two in indigo but I don't have the purple I don't know they look cute they're really cute the faces are great the hair is really nice the styling is really cute I really 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 love the face and I think the dresses are awesome too so um just really want to spotlight this artist really like them here's some gorgeous foiling on the dress here so pretty these are gorgeous and um speaking of which here is our lady lovely locks dolls by the way here's her friend so Aw, so cute. Do they have a different face mold? Am I crazy? I don't know. It might just be that they're painted differently, but the noses look different shapes to me. 
it looks like she has a wider head. Wow, if they did that, that's really cool, actually. Um, yeah, just very cute, simple dolls. I love the hair colors thing. I think that was the thing for this uh, line. So, so cute. And there's the discoloration on her, which I think this doll, yeah, this doll has it too, but I don't, I mean, she's wearing a mermaid skirt and I'm never taking that off. They're so precious. So really, really excited to add some more vintage dolls to my collection. And speaking of vintage dolls, we also have, this is a figure. This is a doll. I mean, technically all figures are dolls, but don't let the action figures uh, people hear you say that. Um, Cause doll just means like toy in human form. So they don't need to have hair. Um, but yeah, so there's my bow. I'll say figure and my Frosted doll. And yeah, she dolls were supposed to like bridge the gap and like He-Man was such a, or Masters of the Universe was such a popular show that it was like, we need to capitalize on the other demographic. And I, they did a great job. It was really smart. And so the toys are like pretty similar to the He-Man toys and they fit in really well. And I love, I don't know if this was intentional, I assume it was, but the villains toys for She-Ra were way cooler. So I think that helped make both lines successful and uh, both shows successful too, because there was, even if you weren't into the dolls, you were probably into the really cool villains like Hordak. So we love to see it. Really smart marketing on that. All right, now I'm gonna show you the American Girl outfits. I'm just gonna like speed around this and the Peridot one is back in its box, so I'm not gonna go grab that, but I just wanted to show you up closer. So there's that stain. I feel like I'll get that out with OxyClean, but we'll see. If it doesn't come out very quickly and easily, I might just not, but I mean, that's just a tiny little stain and it's Kit. That is fully in character in her world, um, but it's so cute. Kit has one of the cutest collections I've ever seen so darling and then um, we have her little shoes which are very versatile i have other shoes pretty similar to these and we're having a shoe crisis in my american girl land so i am gonna be pretty picky going forward and buy ones with shoes oh her little socks are absolutely gorgeous too aren't these so nice i need more like do you call it a hosiery in general for socks and things need more <laughs> um, i'm struggling and then we have these adorable purple jellies. I love these. <laughs> so cute. I already have American Girl jellies that um, are like off brand, but having like official ones is really cool. And then here's that fruit shirt. So cute. This outfit is insane. I don't know. Like whoever came up with this design, are you serious? Here's the dress. I think they call it a jumper. If you search fruit jumper, sometimes it comes up. I'm serious. I have every strategy to be able to find this outfit, but I never found it for the prices that I wanted to pay or with that scrunchie. And I still didn't find it with the scrunchie. I do find it with the scrunchie, but then it's like 50 bucks and I'm like, ugh. But now it's going to be harder because I'm not just going to find the scrunchie for sale separately. Again, I really do think that it breaks, but it's just so cute. It's like beaded. And I was a kid in the early 2000s. I was born in 1999. So a little, like, I was not a kid at the same time as these, but those like really beaded fun hair things were still a thing. Like I, I remember them. So I really want that, but it's okay. Um, is this not the most darling dress in the whole entire universe? Are you serious? I have no idea who's going to get to wear this. I might play my fun game. Well, that's why we're going to do the dressing my dolls video because I like to play this game where um, if I really, really love an outfit, I'm like stubborn and I don't, I'm like, no, none of you guys get to wear it. I can't figure out who gets to wear it. And um, I like get indecisive and then nobody wears it. So we're going to prevent that. Um, we're going to do a Dressing My Dolls video and somebody's going to wear it. Um, here's that orange dress. Just stunning. So well done. Doll clothes are really hard to sew. American Girl's a little easier than other dolls. But just like the tiny little seams. Like look at that tiny hemline. And uh, I just can't get over that. Does that have two? Oh my god. I think it's a zigzag stitch. That is amazing to not go outside of the lines on a zigzag stitch that far around. Like... So good. So good. And there's a zigzag stitch at the bottom here, it looks like. Or no, that's just like a regular stitch there. And then um, the, the little ribbons. So cute. I might do the yellow ribbon on the orange girl, whoever wears it, and then the orange ribbon on the yellow one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, here's that yellow dress. And one of the things with American Girl custom outfits, I love, like, they're always really, like, well done and talented, but I don't normally like the prints people use, because it's really hard to find prints that work at this scale, but both of these dresses have really good prints. I should have made that clear. Like, most of my dolls don't wear custom outfits, and it's not because I don't like custom outfits, I actually do. It's just that generally, the patterning is off, and these are not off, they're great. And little details like the buttons and stuff, you don't normally see, like, oh, they're so good. And there's little sleeves with the little bows on them. So cute. So, so cute. These are exactly 
what I'm looking for with like custom American girl outfits. Okay. We have the pinner's cap, which my Elizabeth does actually have. She just doesn't have her shoes, which sucks. I need I need matching shoes. Um, she's wearing like gymnastic shoes right now, I think. If she's even wearing shoes, she's normally not. Um, here's a little necklace probably with the little teardrop. So cute. Probably goes this way. That's probably a harder piece to find. I don't know. I haven't been like super seriously shopping for this outfit, but I've definitely been shopping for it. Um, there's the little extra panel thing, which is so smart um, so that you can rewear the dress for multiple occasions. Um, and then see, so there's like um, snaps here so you can take this front out. So often you find this dress as just the robe piece without the skirt, um, <laughs> which is when you do the historical accuracy, it makes shopping for things secondhand harder because there's all these different pieces. But yeah, I do like this piece, but I really wanted this piece because it's what makes her match with Elizabeth. And that's what I wanted. I just think it's gonna be so pretty. And this fabric is so nice, by the way. Just like Elizabeth's, it's the same. Um, and then here's the skirt. So Elizabeth's skirt is like, hers is actually sewn on, I'm pretty sure, but um, she has a white skirt and Felicity's is all blue, but I still think they're gonna look adorable together. And then here's the actual shoes. Mine's never wearing the actual shoes um, for Elizabeth because I don't have them. Um, but honestly, you could custom this pretty easily. Like you could, there's plenty of American Girl white shoes like this and I could just add little ribbon things. Might just do it because Elizabeth needs shoes. Um, and then I wanted to show you this picture. Are you serious? Is that number 16? Hmm. I used to have her. Used to. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually really funny. That's okay. Um, I have plenty of just like you dolls that need outfits and will look adorable in this. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'm really excited about everything that I got today. Um, some things I'm more excited about than others. Love you, croquet set. Oh, I just realized you can see the Peridot outfit. Um, love you, cro croquet set. You're real cool, but I'm not as excited as, about you as I am the other stuff. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have found any interesting while doll shopping. And anything interesting. I think I said that wrong. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a bunch of videos down the pipeline. I was working on... Okay. I was working on doll stuff all weekend. So a lot of the American or the um Taylor Swift dolls have big trains on their skirts, which makes these stands not great. You want like a saddle stand for that. Um anyway, I've been working on doll related stuff all weekend. I've just been doing like doll restorations, but not filmed. I did do a YouTube short though of a doll restoration. I just uploaded it before this. So if you want to see that, check it out. Um and I'm just working on my shelf some more. There's been some big changes and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to start doing like collection videos, like collection updates for a lot of my collections, aiming to do the doll room updated tour before uh, the end of the year. So that's going to be fun. So stick around. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching for this time. Bye.